I'm told that our Candace Red is excited to share this information with us, that you should have a working smoke alarm in your home. That's also the message coming from firefighters. Yeah, they say smoke alarms can help save your life. And since it's fire prevention week, now is the time to really start thinking about fire safety and some reminders as well. And ABC 10's Candace Red joins us now with tips that we can all use. Good morning, Candace. That's right. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning, Walt. Well, Fire Prevention Week is all about educating the public. And the theme for the campaign this year is smoke alarms. Make them work for you. Well, firefighters want you to stay safe in case of a fire. They say one way you can do that is by simply installing working smoke alarms in your home. Now, smoke alarms should be in every bedroom, outside all sleeping areas like a hallway, and on every floor level. You should also test the alarms at least once a month. Now, if the smoke alarm starts to make a chirp sound, we've all heard it before, that means it's time for you to replace the batteries with new ones. And keep in mind, smoke alarms should be replaced fully after 10 years. Now, we're told Sacramento Metro Fire responded to about 650 building fires so far this year. Many of those homes did not have working smoke alarms. We had a fire this week uh, where people were sound asleep at the time. And fortunately, those three people did wake up uh, because of the amount of smoke, there were no smoke alarms. They got very lucky. And we've seen the opposite where people don't wake up. Uh, and it's a very unfortunate thing because it's so preventable. Statistics show working smoke, smoke alarms reduce the risk of dying in a home fire by 60 percent. Well, that's according to the National Fire Protection Association. The organization has been sponsoring National Fire Prevention Week since 1922. Now, in addition to smoke alarms, firefighters say you should also have an emergency escape plan. You want to be sure to practice it at least two times a year. That way, everyone knows what to do in case of a fire. Yeah, that's a good point, Candace, because, you know, whether you have kids in the house or it's just adults, everybody should know yeah, where to meet and what to do mm -hmm. in the event of an emergency. Thanks, Candace. Yeah, if you have one of those, if you live on like a second or yeah. third story, have one of those rope ladders that you can throw out and climb down. Yeah, on. good to be prepared. Yep.